there, I'm Sandy Alnock, Bible Journaler here on YouTube with the third in my Advent series for 2017. And this is going to be a quicker page than the others, and it's on joy. We've been doing hope, peace, joy, and love. Thank you for sharing your pages about hope and peace on my Facebook page. If you'd like to share yours, please do. And there's a clickable link in the description, or you can just type in Sandy Alnock LLC to get over there. Look for the picture that I'm creating today of this Bible page and leave yours in the comments along with whatever encouragement you can give us on the joy of the Christmas season and finding it when we're in the middle of Christmas lines and things and all the, the duties of the holidays. I'm going to be using the banner once again. I'm showing you a bunch of different ways to use a banner in your Bible during this series and this time of course, tracing it in my Bible using a pencil and adding the word joy. And I left a little space above it. You'll see why. Because I'm going to use when they saw the star, they were overjoyed. That would be the kings. If I were one of the kings, I would be overjoyed as well. I'm going to be adding a star to that banner in that space that I saved. So I'm marking a spot with my pencil so I know where the center is. And then tracing a star that I've punched out. You can just draw a star or you can find whatever you have to trace it on there with. And I'm going to show you how to make a quilted banner. I'm going to do some texture on it and it'll be really fun. But I'll also show you a simple way to do it. So I'm putting some base color down first by using some carmine red, which is a light color of red. And I'm going to add a darker crimson lake to it to get some dimension in it. And if that's as far as you want to go, absolutely, totally fine. Don't have to be as crazy as me because I'm just going to add some dimension by putting some darker color at the top and at the bottom so that I just get some differentiation in color in the banner. And it doesn't have to all be one solid blob. And it's the same color down here at the bottom that I'm adding, going carefully around my words and using a really light touch with the pencil so that I'm not adding a whole lot of waxiness until I get to that last layer. And once I'm sure that I'm not going to go over it a whole lot more, I can get heavy with it. But I knew I was going to add texture to it, so I tried not to get too heavy. Now for the texture portion. And that is by adding, with a darker pencil, adding in some crosshatch lines. And I'm using the angle of the banner at the bottom as my starting point. And you could take a ruler and measure it all out, but I'm just sketching it in because it's not that important to make it all perfect. Just make it good, not perfect. Perfect is the enemy of getting anything done. I don't know if anybody else has ever experienced that, but when you're trying to be perfect, it's hard to even move off the dime at all. And if trying to be perfect in Bible journaling is keeping you from Bible journaling at all, then you're doing it for the wrong reasons. So I have my lines in both different directions now and to create that texture, I'm just gonna fill in with the darker red in the bottom three quarters of each one of those triangles. It's gonna leave a little highlight in the top up there and give me something that looks like a dimensional texture, even though it's not dimensional. You could do that with a white pen, but it looks much softer this way by doing it with your pencils. And now I'll add my secondary words, joy in seeing God, because that's where the kings had their joy. And that's a reminder to me where my joy comes from. When I see him, when I hear his voice, when I spend time with him in the scriptures, when I'm in church, in the fellowship of the believers, I feel joy because I'm in his presence. And that is, that is important to me to remember. When I'm lacking joy, when I'm standing in line at the mall and I'm feeling grumpy, or when somebody else calls and wants a piece of me and all I want to do is take a nap, <laughs> I have to remember I need that joy back. And if I need to take some time out from doing something that seems important to do something that's really important to get my joy back, then I have to spend time with God. As you're watching this, I'm making the little star kind of into a starburst by moving some of that color with my finger, as you saw. Super easy to do. And even as I put the dots on it to try to emphasize that sparkling star, 
I touched it a little bit with my finger to soften them. And now I'm going to add little tiny dots of detail. Instead of doing stitching with a black pen, I can do it with a white pen. This pen does come in a couple different widths, and this is not the fine width. I don't remember what the size of it was, but you can get a couple different widths of it as well. And I decided since I was having so much fun with these little dots, I was going to go around the words too, because that'd be fun to add something to those and make them stand out just a little bit more. Especially if any of your pencil went over top of the edge of the letters, if your coloring was uh, like mine, which is sometimes on the messy side, then going around the edge with either a black or white pen can often clean that up for you just a bit. And I'm just tapping very lightly with this pen. It has a, a really good soft look to it. But that looks like a real fabric banner hanging in my Bible now, doesn't it? With a little glowing star coming out. Very, very cool. So I will see you next week with the fourth in the series on love. But for this week, please go out and do your own joy meditation and Bible journaling page and share it on my Facebook. Link is in the description. And I'll see you next week. God bless you.